What's up guys? So this week I'm going to be unboxing my newest purchase from ZZP, the HP Tuners Pro. Okay, so this is the box. This is how it comes right here. If you look here, ZZP was nice enough to put some additional instructions here on setting it up. I'm not gonna read that right now. But basically when you get it, it just comes in this one box. Um, this is actually my ZZP invoice. And so first thing you get is this little detachable lanyard thing here, which is cool. Then we got most of our bulk stuff here. And we've got these are instructions. This piece of paper is really important because this has your um, serial number and stuff for activating it. And of course, stickers. I got ZZP stickers and I got HP tuner stickers. And as everyone knows, stickers make your car way faster, so that's cool. All right, so in this package right here, gonna be the bulk of the stuff right here you've got that's a flash drive so that's gonna have the software with the drivers and stuff this is the actual unit that interfaces with the car I'm gonna open this up so we can look at that and I don't know if the standard version comes with all the same stuff or not but the pro version also has this lovely little thing which is where you can add additional things and then it plugs in right here. So if you're data logging, you can data log wide bands and stuff like that. Then you've got this cable, which is your USB that connects it to the computer you're using to tune. And then this, which is your OBD2 cable that connects to the car itself. Um, one thing I will say about this, I really like how small this is. I mean, next to my hand, you can see, I mean, that's a tiny box and it doesn't weigh anything. It's nice. I mean, cause you know, you got to think you're going to be coming, you're going to be carrying this in and out of a car over and over again, or just leaving it in there. It's just nice that it's light and it's kind of small. Um, other than that, everything looks good. Everything looks packaged well, pretty happy with the extras it comes with. So that's pretty cool. Um, so now I'm going to move over to the laptop and show you the basic installation. Okay, so now we're going to follow these instructions because it does come with pretty easy to understand step-by-step -step stuff here. Okay, first install the USB stick into a drive. That sounds simple enough, right? and install the VCM Suite software. Double click the file vcmsuite.msi then after finishing this we leave this in the drive accept terms without reading them because that's what we do waiting on this to install so I'll be right back after that then we finish okay do not run software no problem connect the interface so we're going to take the interface okay when windows recognizes the interface it will prompt you for drivers so now we wait on that hey windows um you're supposed to be detecting things dude Well, my computer is dumb apparently. Let's see if we can't just manually find this thing. I'm gonna open this 
thing manually to see if we can't get that installed since it obviously didn't prompt me for drivers as it was supposed to. Okay, so here we have all this stuff. Um, which item are we looking for? OR3, I have no idea what any of these things are. This, okay, so we need to go here. Properties. Hardware. Properties. Driver. No drivers. So that's the problem. So how do we fix that? Update driver. Browse computer. And we're going to look for this. And we're going to look in here. Let's see if it finds it now. Okay, so that's done. I got it installed. I went ahead, actually there's two channels in here, and I went ahead and installed the drivers for both. So, we're good there. Now, let's see, those drivers have been installed, you can remove the USB stick. So now we take this out and put the cap back on there. Okay, now open VCM editor, which installed who even knows where on this thing. Definitely gonna wanna make a for an interface serial number. Sweet, well, that's it. all I have to do, right? Welcome to VCM Suite. If this is your first time, the editor, you select the calibration, new state you wish to use. The state you select will determine how many parameters will be displayed for you to edit. Basic, first time users and average tuners, advanced tuner shops and experienced tuners. Now, I have a lot of, I have experience tuning, not GMs, but I've done a lot of tuning with uh, Nissans and Fords, so we're going to go advanced, and we're going to leave it Imperial, because I'm American, sorry. Okay, so let's see what this says now. You are now ready to use our product, thanks for your support, do you purchase it? Okay. Okay, and that's all we're gonna do today. It's installed, it's up and running. Basically from here, it's just a matter of copying the file from the car, tuning it and putting it out. I will do that in a future video if you guys wanna see more of it. Um, but I will definitely have a lot more to come with this. But uh, for now, that's gonna be it for this week. Appreciate your support and we'll see you next time.